Week of Easter 3, Thursday. Behold your time and place in history. And the Spirit of God came upon Zechariah, son of Jehoiada, the priest. And he stood above the people and said to them, Thus says God, Why do you transgress the commandments of the Lord so that you cannot prosper? Because you have forsaken the Lord, he also has forsaken you. So they conspired against him, and, at the command of the king, they stoned him with stones in the court of the house of the Lord. Second Chronicles 24, verses 20 through 21. Dearly beloved, the devil, all the other fallen angels, and the might of a wicked generation combine in an unleashed fury to silence the word of God. In their darkened efforts to destroy the church, they kill faithful men called by the Lord to serve his people. What prevents this evil communion from annihilating the church on earth? The incarnate Savior and the wisdom of the cross delivered through the means of grace by the mouths of men. Woe to you, for you build the tombs of the prophets whom your fathers killed. So you bear witness that you approve the deeds of your fathers, for they indeed killed them and you build their tombs. Therefore also the wisdom of God said, I will send them prophets and apostles, and some of them they will kill and persecute, that the blood of all the prophets shed from the foundation of the world may be required of this generation, from the blood of Abel to the blood of Zechariah, who perished between the altar and the temple. Yes, I say to you, it shall be required of this generation. Luke 11, verses 47 through 51. Consider the span of history from the two who gathered in the presence of the Lord in the Garden of Eden to this day. Astonishing and amazing. Listen to the following itinerary and picture the congregation of the redeemed. The Son of God, through the ministry of the Word, has led, guided, guarded, and escorted his church through the rebellion of fallen Cain, the horrendous age of the Nephilim, see Genesis 6, the flooding of the world, the dispersion at the Tower of Babel, the enslavement in Egypt, the wilderness wanderings of the Exodus, Korah's rebellion, see Numbers 16, the continuing temptations of neighboring peoples and gods, the Babylonian captivity of the church, the ten lost tribes of Israel, the conquests of Alexander the Great, the time of Ptolemy, the rise and fall of the Roman Empire, the persecutions that created the diaspora, the arenas of the martyrs, the hordes of Mohammed, the second Babylonian captivity of the church, the age of rationalism, and this present time of the tyranny of choice with the license of sin, as well as the mosque-shaped horses of Troy grazing throughout the so-called free world in these last days. Lord, come quickly. He does. Civilization after civilization has come and is now gone. The Word of God continues to go forth and accomplish God's purpose as the Holy Spirit wills. Devils and demons plague the congregation and the children within. Atheists, agnostics, sages, philosophers, false teachers, and antichrists assail, assault, seduce, and lull. The Son of God and His Church remain and will continue unto the last day. As this present civilization is proceeding into its death throes, Jesus and his little flock will be sustained by the faithful preaching and teaching of the wisdom of God, of Christ crucified and risen, of his gospel of forgiveness, everlasting life, and peace with God. The Christian will be fed on this word of grace in the means of grace that Jesus has given to his church. Dearly Beloved, do you not behold your history from the very foundation of the world? Do you not perceive what you are a part of and what has been won, brought, and delivered to you through the blood, sweat, and tears of Christ, his called men, 
the church, and the children within her? Behold, dear soul, this is your day. Prayer O Lord my God, what can I possibly say? I am overwhelmed by what you have done, allowed, accomplished, and preserved. All thanks, praise, glory, and honor to you. O oh, abide with your church, your pastors, your little ones, and with me. Amen. Hymn number 483, stanza 1. God of the prophets, bless the prophets' sons. Elijah's mantle or Elisha cast. Each age its solemn task may claim but once. Make each one nobler, stronger than the last.